Okay, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going to quickly discuss um, isometric and orthographic uh, drawings. But now where it's a little bit more complicated, they have removed the grid paper uh, from the answer. And they've actually, if I zoom in here for you guys, they've put the grid paper only on the question. So what they've told you is that each block in this grid paper represents one centimeter. So now your job becomes a little bit more difficult where you now have to use a ruler and measure the lines and you have to use set squares or protractors to measure the correct angles so that you can copy that shape exactly so for example um, when you're doing this isometric that is three blocks high so it should be exactly uh, 30 millimeters or it should be three centimeters so if you're working with your ruler on your page and you measure you should get exactly three centimeters all right so uh, the other thing to remember with these isometrics is when you are starting off on the lines, make sure that they are at 30 degrees so that you've got the perfect base to work with. And then all the other lines should be parallel to one of those. This slope is obviously the exception to the rule, but generally the lines are either parallel to that one going up, for example, or they're parallel to this one coming across. And then the only other lines then are obviously vertical straight lines up. Then once you've copied that, you know, and the scale is obviously a little bit different now, um, but once you've copied that, then you are able to start drawing the orthographic projection. They give you A as the front view, as you can see that L shape. You would then look down from the top to get the top view, and then you'd look at it from this right-hand side uh, to get the left view. Sorry, you'd look at it from the left, and you'd end up drawing it on the right. So um, once you got your grid paper, uh, sorry, there is no grid paper, but once you've got your, your axes, you can then start drawing and measuring very carefully the front view. And there's your little L-shaped, and they're even asking to put the hidden detail in now as well. So the left view has the slope in it that we can see there, and it's also got the hidden detail of the little cutout that's sitting at the back there. So there is our isometric and orthographic, but uh, when now you don't have the correct uh, grid paper, you have to just measure everything with a ruler. All right, thank you.